Hello fellow YouTubers. Uh, yes, it's um, it's it's very glary again. It, um, in fact, it's hot today. Uh, yesterday was very very warm, but today uh, Monday, um, March 18 is hot. With uh, we're getting close to the end of the uh, first month of uh, autumn, and uh, summer just won't let go. I know in the UK that um, I think they're heading for spring, and uh, but they're still being uh, plagued by uh, cold and snow. Anyhow, it's the way it is. I um, I haven't been been doing very little today. Um, this um, I was um, instructed uh, not to do very much for the next couple of days because on Wednesday I have my scan, my special scan. What's it called? Pet scan, pet scan, something like that. That's uh, the three-hour scan. And uh, so I've just been um, taking it nice and easy. I'll just finish my tea off. There's not a cloud in the sky. Not a cloud anywhere to be seen. Yet um, the forecast is for some uh, heavy rain in the next uh, two days. I don't know where this uh, rain is going to come from, or where the clouds are that will uh, 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 bring it, but um, I just can't see it. Anyhow, we'll just have to wait and see. We could use a bit of rain. Things are quite dry here. Um, March last year was very, very wet. I think if memory serves me correct, we had something like 600 and 20 millimetres in the March of 2017, uh, but uh, we're way short of that here. I think just perhaps we've had 95, maybe 100, maybe. Yeah, it, um, ah, two leaves. I must, um, I must apologise to my uh, friend in the UK, Fred. I um, said at the end of uh, yesterday's video that I thought he was 58. He is not. He is a year younger. He is 57. And I did, um, I did apologise to him on a comment. But uh, I'll apologise again. Sorry, Fred. Sorry that I uh, said you were 58. Still, what difference does a year make at our age, really? Particularly at my age, yes. I um, it was the yes after yesterday's video. I, I had to un uh, pack a, uh, a big plastic container uh, that I have all that uh, that gear in the little butane gas stove and the uh, kettle and teapot and tea and all this sort of stuff because that's what I use when I go away and I pull up on the side of the road. It's all in one container, and I can um, boil my kettle and. Um, make a cup of tea and a uh, pot of tea and have something to eat and just relax because I do that every couple of hours. I like to pull over every couple of hours, stretch my legs and um, although I don't always boil the kettle um, when I do and it is time to do so I do. That sounded strange didn't it? I don't know. Holy smoke. Oh, it is bright. Oh that's better. Do I look cool? Hey. <laughs> Yes, well there is a there is a breeze blowing. It's um it's around 4:30 in the afternoon. I can feel a breeze on my arms. I think it's coming in well from the northwest by the look of the trees just over here. I don't know if you if you can see them. I don't know if that's high enough, but there's somewhere over there. The uh, you can see the wisteria there is weaving. That needs to be pruned a bit. And uh, trees back here. And I don't know if you can see the trees on the hill, but um, they seem to be moving from a northeasterly wind. But anyhow, it's different. It's different from where you are, in what position you are. If I went down to the beach and uh, stood on. Um, looking out at the ocean, it, um, it would probably be a very nice breeze indeed. 
In fact, I was thinking about doing that today. I was thought about hopping in the four-wheel drive and heading off down to, a, to where the old quarry was and um, seeing if I could drive up to the top of the look at the well, the, the top of the old quarry um, hill. I don't know if you can, don't know if you're allowed to, but I, I would have been able to find out pretty quick, wouldn't I? Anyhow, I know this is pretty boring because I really haven't got anything to um, to report to you. We've got the air conditioning going today. We, we started yesterday uh, because our dog Bailey was a bit down in the weather and I said to my wife, I think he's feeling the heat. And um, I think it might be a good idea if you put the air conditioning on and keep him cool. But uh, yes, it, it made a difference. It did make a difference to him. He, he's much brighter today. And because uh, we had the air conditioning going on all the time, it's still going now. Did I already say that? I probably did, see what I mean? Yeah, and um, I've been I've been plagued with um, nausea and um, sort, of, sort of stomach cramps um, for the past few weeks. And um, I wake up in the morning, oh, terrible! I feel absolutely terrible, uh, sick to the stomach and um, in mild pain. And it takes hours and hours once I'm up for it to go away. I think. Um, it has to do with the antibiotics I was on. I said to the specialist when I saw him, uh, why was it necessary to have me on antibiotics for five weeks? And he was quite horrified. He said, five weeks? Uh, you should have only been on the antibiotics for two weeks. Well, I was on antibiotics for the six days I was in hospital and I continued a course uh, when I came home. But then when I went and saw the doctor, um, I was prescribed another course. And when I got the, uh, the script filled, there were, yeah, there were four packets. Four pa yeah. Each, yeah, each packet had seven tablets in it. I have to take them twice a day. No, once a day? Oh, I don't know, but anyway, I was on, the, I was on antibiotics for at least five weeks. So I don't think I should have been. So I would get yesterday, um, no, the day before, um, or maybe it was the day before that. Oh, we smoke. My mind's terrible. Uh, we went um, when we went shopping. I called in at the um, the pharmacy, the chemist, and bought a large bottle, 90 capsules of uh, Inner Health Plus. They're supposed to have 25 or 30 uh, million, or billion good bacteria. See if it'll make any difference. I've only been on them a few days. It'll probably take a take a week or two before I notice any difference, but I, as I, say, I haven't noticed any differences yet, and I'll probably have to end up going to the doctor. I've got to put these on, it's just too bright. I apologise for that. And uh, I suppose I'll have to go and see the doctor, and you know, they'll probably want to shove one of those um, tubes down your throat. I said to my, um, my specialist, he mentioned something about putting a, a scope down there. I can't remember what they're called. It's called a gastrostomy. They, they shove that thing down with a camera on and have a look. You wouldn't have a look at my lung. And um, I said, well, I don't handle uh, anaesthetic very well. I don't wake up from it very well. And he said, yeah, I don't want to put you on anaesthetic, to tell you the truth. So that's why um, I can't do it. I said, well, just put, give me a spray to stop the gag effect and I can do it while I'm awake. And he went, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 we can't do that. We can't do that. That's, why not? Oh, no, 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 can't do that. Uh, what, what can I say? So anyhow. And that's the problem, isn't it? Because um, with um, the condition of my lungs, um, just having, um, having surgery, if there is, um, if the worst case scenario happens following the, um, the test on Wednesday, um, hmm. well, I'm not gonna go into that. Oh, yeah. No, well, there's no birds in the bird bath at the moment, but it's still um, it's still a little early in the afternoon. Probably around about 5:30 they'll start coming in. The peewee, there's a there's a pair of peewees here, a mama and a popper, and uh, they usually come and use the bird bath that's over in the uh, the corner here to the northeast. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Yes.
Oh, I did notice that uh, my friend Carla, who um, comments um, on a regular basis, uh, I was watching a, um, a video from um, Glenda, aka um, Fallen, and um, she had a painting there that was done by Carla, and it looked quite nice. Yeah, so um, congratulations, Carla. You're a very talented woman. I'd, I'd grab some of my paintings out and show you, but it'd be a bit of a struggle to get them out maybe another time. And I've got a stack of drawings. I used to do a lot of ink and pencil drawings um, in my uh, later teens. And I might make a video of that, show you some of my artwork. Anyway, I'm going to say thank, um, thank you very much for watching. And um, I might go and... Uh, have another cup of tea and um, I don't know I might go and watch just some documentary on YouTube or something on Netflix oh no, I did watch something on Netflix this is quite interesting I was watching a, a documentary last night and it was called the pill and it wasn't about the uh, birth control pill either it was about Adderall Adderall which is like the Vicolin it, it, it's a bit like LSD but it's sort of refined and uh, it, it's usually prescribed to those who've got ADD or ADHD. But um, it was a real opener because um, it was saying on the documentary that um, a lot of students, uh, college students, which we would say university students in Australia, um, were using Adderall to help them um, do better. And virtually saying that um, kids were um, addicted to, to Adderall. Or well, if not addicted, they used it um, because it gave them what they wanted. Yeah. Good results. Let them stay up longer. Let, let, the, let them study better. Prepare report, do exams better, so on and so. Wow. And it would be no different out here in Australia. Yeah. Yes, it was called The Pill on Netflix. Quite, quite interesting and quite an eye-opener when you think about it. Holy smoke. I'd, um, honestly, I'd never heard of Adderall before. I've heard of, of Vitalin or Vi Vicodin or whatever it is. And uh, a couple of the others that um, I can't remember. That's not important. They mentioned something too about um, e-cigarettes. I don't know what the connection with e-cigarettes. These things that, I don't know, people use when, um, as a substitute for cigarette smoking. I don't know some sort of puffy thing or vapour comes out of them. I don't know, that's what they're, I can't remember what they're called exactly. I know e-cigarette, but there's a name um, as well for them. That, but I don't know what the connection was between them and Adderall. Maybe there was something in the compound that goes inside these e-cigarettes that um, maybe it's part of the LSD, amphetamine, Whatever it is, I don't know, and I don't care because I don't plan on using them myself. Oh dear, but... <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I rattled on again. Uh, never mind. So once again, I'm going to say thank you for watching, and um, Sorry about that, but I rattled on again, didn't I? I did. I, I can't help myself. I ramble on and on and on. I don't think I'm going to be able to say much, and when I start talking, I tend to keep going on and on and on. I'm going to call it quits. Adios, muchachos. Au revoir. And adieu.